time means new beginnings, maybe some new relationships. I hear in some change of just being alone in the house with sweatpants, a lot of us are a little rusty on our outfit game, or maybe you just have been itching to pull out those outfits that you've been saving since last year, so this is your chance. So yeah, New Beginnings, I just moved into this house, there's nothing in this house, I'm here alone with just this rug. So, <laughs> if there's an echo, forgive me, there will be furniture soon. So yeah, yesterday I let me pick out a bunch of clothes, so I'm going to do some date night ideas and then some matching outfits to go with the date ideas. Because there's nothing worse than when someone is like, oh, let's go out on a date, and they don't tell you what the date is, and then you're like either overdressed or underdressed for the occasion. So you're like, don't tell me that we're, you're taking me out on a date, and I'm dressed up in like a cute dress and some heels, and then we show up and you're taking me to go hiking. Just saying, Hiking is not a date. I do not want to be alone in the woods with a man I don't know. That's a horror movie. No, thank you. Next. <laughs> okay, so let's go. If you are meeting someone for the first time, I definitely wouldn't make it a first date. I would call it a first encounter or more like please don't be a second murderer and follow me home. So I would definitely recommend your first encounter be outdoors in broad daylight with witnesses. Okay, so first I have this really pretty green dress. I love the color and I really like how it matches my jade accessories. <laughs> okay, so, so it has this little ruching, but it's kind of short on me to be honest. Like I can't ruch it up the way that it's meant to be because it's it'll be too short. So that's kind of annoying. So sometimes in spring it's a little bit cold in the morning, so I would bring a cardigan. I also really like cardigans because you can like cover your tummy or your butt if you're not that comfortable with like a tight dress. Yeah, I think this dress is very easy to like dress up or dress down and since we're just going to like a farmer's market or to lunch, like I'm just wearing these platform sandals. I want to be able to run away if I need to. Swift escape. Yeah, I think it's nice that you can just like dress it down with sandals and a cardigan so it's not too sexy, but like, you know what I'm working with. So let's call this the first date and it really doesn't matter like who you're going on a date with because I literally wore this exact outfit going out with my friends the other day and I haven't been out and like dressed up to go to dinner or any type of function in so long so I'm just gonna be obnoxious with it okay I'm being obnoxiously I look like the surface of the sun it's like with the hair and like the shoes I don't care I don't care so it has like this exposed stitching ruching on the side. I really like the ruching on the side because sometimes bodycon dresses don't really hit the curve like it's supposed to, but the ruching really takes care of that. Does it clash? Maybe. Maybe. I feel like it's in the same color range. It's fine. You could definitely tone it down. I'm sure it looks a lot more casual when you don't have Ronald McDonald hair. Yeah, we're not here to blend in today. We're here to stand out. I'm the surface of the sun. Hello, how are you? Okay, so things are going good. Maybe you've been on a few dates. Things are getting a little spicy. Maybe it's Valentine's Day or some like arbitrary anniversary that you guys want to celebrate. And I thoroughly believe that you should go out on like a fancy dinner date at least once because you want to know what they look like when they like clean up. Um, but yeah, I cannot tell you how many times like working in the service industry, I would see girls wearing like a pretty cocktail dress and then the guy's just wearing a t-shirt, jeans and vans. Like, come on. Put a little bit more effort into it, like at least a button up shirt. It's embarrassing. Now, I'm not sure what possessed me to get this in the color blue because whenever I wear blue, I feel like Ariel, especially with this like aggressive side part. 
So I'm just gonna like lean into it like I'm Disney bounding or whatever that's called. I'm not a Disney adult, okay? Just so you know. But if given the chance, I would definitely buy this in many other colors. So it does have a padded top and then some, I believe, plastic boning here. But it's really nice because it's like a mock corset look. And then whatever fabric this is, is so soft. It's so soft. It's like a mesh. And I like whatever action is going on back here. The ruching. If you don't have a butt, it will really like emphasize it. I like that. The cups are small. If you have big boobs, I can bet you you'd be spilling out of this, but for me, it's good. For me, I'm for me, I'm, I'm just fine. And I'm wearing this little clutch that I thrifted so long ago. I've never used it for any, any purpose, but look, look, look. Do I have a reason to wear this? No. Am I going to wear this to brunch? Possibly. Oh, you want to go on a spontaneous trip to Las Vegas? Yeah, sure, I have just the outfit. <laughs> now this is not a first date option, okay? Don't just go on a plane to a random city with a random man. All right, please be safe. I like don't feel comfortable in this outfit. I feel very exposed. It looked really cute on the model, but I do not have that model's proportions. And I also just, I just feel like my boobs are gonna pop out. And like, I don't really have much like holding it up, but I just feel like one wrong move and like the boobs are gonna be out. <laughs> so there's the top. It's like a cardigan. You're supposed to do like the first two button ups. And then in, the, oh my God, if I lift my arm, my boobs gonna pop out. And then in the back, it's like, has this cute detail here. So I do like it. It's very cute. I wonder what it looks like if I wear it backwards. So let's try to wear it the way that the model did because I just don't have the same bodily proportions as she does. She must have a really long torso because in the picture, this is down so you can see her belly button. So I put my belly button out and then she had these up like that. I'm, <laughs> this looks stupid. This is how you're supposed to wear it. I hate it like this. I, it looks really, I'm just uncomfortable. So let's change it. So I'm wearing it backwards and I like it a lot better. It's a lot more like secure here. And see, this is definitely something I would wear to like Vegas or Miami or just a city where I don't know people because I just feel really naked in this outfit, you know? I got this other shirt and it's so much more comfortable to wear with this set. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear it as like a cardigan and a skirt instead and this just feels so much more comfortable to me. Tell me that's not better. So much better for me. I feel so much more confident. Regardless how you wear it, this is a very versatile set because I have a skirt and a cardigan that I can wear as a top or I can wear separately. So it's a good investment overall. Okay, yeah, I feel so much more confident wearing it like this. And that's the thing, it really doesn't matter what you wear. The most important thing is that you feel confident so that you can be yourself. Because at least for me, it just like preoccupies my mind and I can't think about anything, but like making sure that like everything's in place, like it just bothers me. Like I want to be free and not have to think about my outfit. Okay, I know that I wore this shirt in the last outfit, but I wasn't intending to, so I want to give this guy its own little spotlight. So when you first put it on, I would definitely suggest strapping it up and lacing it up before you put the shirt on. And I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, but I just did it like that. Definitely can't wear a bra, but that's fine. This is definitely a summer shirt. Okay, so I'm kind of going for like a 90s look with the butterfly hair clips and the midi skirt. So now we're in the comfy stage. And let's be real, the comfy stage actually looks like this. When you're in this stage, like 
everything feels like a date. Oh, we're going to run errands, date. Grocery store, date. So for this date, we're going thrifting and then we're gonna go get lunch after. So whenever we go to the thrift store, I wanna make sure that I'm wearing comfy shoes and comfy clothes because I'm searching, I'm in those bins. So this top is kind of cool and very fitting for like the vintage vibes of like a thrift store because it has these little pilgrims on them. Looks like the pattern that's on like a gravy boat that your grandma gave you. Oh. And then for the pants, I was really scared to buy these, but I actually fit into them, so that's very exciting for me. <laughs> okay, this is a very important requirement for pants. Let's see. Yes. There are so many of my pants that are just too tight that I can't pick up anything off the ground. If I need to bend even like an inch, oh, too bad belongs to the streets now. Yes, Margaret, I love for a ride down the coast with you. Okay, let's actually look at the, let's actually look at the outfit. So it's a black velvet dress, very figure hugging, and then it has this straight across hemline. I feel like Rachel Green would have worn this. Okay, I feel like wearing it with a platform sandal so it doesn't look too dressy. But, you know, there's still heels, so it still looks cute. This dress is so comfortable. I don't know if it's the fabric or the fit or just everything all together, but it just feels comfy and I really like it. So I normally always hike up my dresses, but this is what it looks like all like smoothed out. It still like hugs the body really well. Like I feel... I really like this. <laughs> so I didn't get to film an outro because my office currently looks like this. We moved in all our stuff and I can't wait to show you guys my studio makeover in the future. But 